Hello everybody. Once again I welcome my YouTube channel Ankur. This one is my fifth lecture and uh, in this lecture we are going to study the development of female gametophyte which comes under the sexual reproduction in higher plants and mostly in angiosperms. So in angiosperms we get here the structure of sexual reproduction that is the flower and which are conspicuous one and in that you are getting the four holes that one we get the calyx, corolla, androsium and the gynosia. So gynosia is the innermost the whorl of the flower which is the female reproductive structure and the smallest unit of that female reproductive structure that is the gynosium is the carpel. So here we are getting the structure of typical carpel. So all the floral parts they are present on the stalk that stalk we call the pedicel. Then here one cushion like structure is there that one we get the thalamus and on these thalamus we get the different floral parts which are necessary as well as uh, accessory structures. So here we get the calyx and corolla which are not shown here but directly we are getting the structure of that typical carpet. So here this one we get the structure of this carpet. This carpet is differentiated into three parts. On the thalamus we get here the structure which is the solen and different shaped mostly it is dome shaped or rounded or some flat structures are there. So that structure we call the ovary. Then this one is the elongated structure which is filamentous, hollow. That one we call the style and at the upper side of this style is the stigma which is cushion like structure. So what is the function of this ovary? Ovary is the enclosed structure in which we are getting the ovule from which we are getting the future seed. In the, from this ovary this is the style which keeps the sigma in proper position for the purpose of pollination. And then this is the sigma which is cushion like and uh, it produces some sugary material and some other sticky substances on which we get it is easy to land the pollen grains and for the, it is very easy to germinate the pollen grains on the stigma after pollination. Here inside the ovary we get the presence of ovule and this ovule is attached to the cushion like structure that one we call the placenta and here this is the body of the ovule and this is the stalk or the funicle of the ovule. What is this placentation? Placentation is the arrangement of ovules on the placenta and in angiosperms you are getting the different types of placentation. For example, this one is the marginal placentation where you get at the margin, this is the placenta and this is the that funicle and this is the ovule. In case of axile placentation, the, in the axil you are getting the placenta and the ovules are arranged like this. In basal placentation, the placenta comes here at the base of the ovary and from that you are getting this stalk that is the funicle and this is the uh, ovule structure. In parietal placentation, the well known example is cucurbitis members that is uh, cucumber etc. Here you are getting these structures that is the placental position from that you get here the funicle and from this placenta we get the funicle and these are the ovule structures. So here we are getting different types of ovules are there in angiosperms and in this uh, mostly in angiosperms you get here the anatropous ovule. So here this is the structure of anatropous ovule. Ana means the inverted, the ovule is inverted. So what is the straight ovule? This one we get the structure of this orthotropous ovule in which we get here the chalaza at the basal side and micropyle at the upper side. And this is the 
stalk that is the funicle so micropyle is at upper side and chala is at lower side so it is called as the orthotropous ovule ortho means upward and uh, anatropous means inverted that is in this anatropous ovule we get the micropyle structures towards lower side and we get the chalaza at the upper side so this structure we call the anatropous ovule so this anatropous ovule is attached to cushion like structure that when we get the placenta so in this placenta we get some cushion like structure and from that you get one stalk like structure and that stalk we call the funicle this funicle is attached to this body of the ovule so there are two parts one is the stalk like structure and another one is the body of that ovule so this funicle or stalk it extends upwards and it gets attached to the this body and that point of attachment is called as the hilum here we get the structure inside that you get the this is the body what is this body it is the bag like structure or enclosed structure we also call it as the megasporangium in which there is the tissue that one we call the nucellus and this nucellus is enclosed by the coverings that one we call the integuments so these integuments are of two types that is the inner integument is there inner layer and outer integument is there that is the outer covering so this integument is covering the structure that one we call the nucellus and that nucellus is covered entirely except one part and that part we get here the which is not covered by this integument and this one we call the micropyle micropyle is the opening of this ovule structure so here the basal part of this body it is called as the chalaza which forms the layers of this integument now inside that you get the structure that one we get from the nucellular tissue there is the formation of this embryo sac we are going to study it later on that is the megasporogenesis and development of the female gametophyte so in young condition in this ovule you are getting the only structures that is the uh, other parts and in this body you are getting the integument and only the nucellular tissue which is the diploid one later on in this there is the formation of this structure that one we call the embryo sac and in this embryo sac again you are getting the two structures that is the this antipodal cells are there towards chalazal end and here towards the micropylar end we are getting the two synergies and one at the center there is the one egg structure and this total structure it is called as the egg apparatus after this we will see here the process that is the megasporogenesis we have seen that in the body of the ovule inside the integument you are getting the structure that one we call here the nucellus and all the tissues of the nucellus they are diploid one so one of the cells of the nucellus it acts as the megaspore mother cell this is the diploid structure so we are knowing well known process that is the meiosis and uh, in this megaspore mother cell there one event occurs and that event we call the meiosis and uh, because of meiosis we, the result is formation of four haploid cells and these are the four megaspores so this is the process that is from the megaspore mother cell formation of this megaspores that method we call the megasporogenesis so in this what happens after the formation of this four haploid megaspores the upper three they get degenerated and uh, the lower one which is the functional one and that one we call the here megaspore or the embryo sac and this megaspore or embryo sac is the only one haploid tissue 
in the diploid nucellus. That is, it is the starting phase of the female gametophyte and it is the small unit megaspore and from that megaspore we get the development of this embryo sac. Now we will study the development of female gametophyte. Here the megaspore which is formed from the nucellus. Nucellus is the diploid tissue. From that by the meiosis we got four megaspores. From these four megaspores we get degenerated and we get here this functional megaspore which is the first cell of female gametophyte. In this first cell of female gametophyte again there are three nuclear divisions and these are three nuclear divisions are mitotic. In this first mitosis in the megaspore that nucleus get differentiated into two nuclei and it is these are the haploid one. So one nucleus it goes at one end at polar end and second one it goes to opposite polar end. Now after this my first mitosis there is another division that is second mitosis. In this second mitosis we get the formation of again two nuclei at each pole and totally in this you are getting 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 nuclei in that particular cell. After this you get the third mitosis. In this third mitosis again these two nuclei get differentiated into 1, 2, 3, 4 as the mitosis is the equational division. So here at one pole we get the 4 nuclei and at another pole again we get the 4 nuclei. So these, uh, this is 8 nucleated structure. So what happens next? In the next uh, we get here, this one is the chalazal end of that uh, ovule. This is the micropylar end of the ovule. So from these 4 nuclei, one nucleus from the chalazal end comes at the center and one nucleus from the micropylar end comes in the center and there is the formation of this. We get here the central cell we call and in this central cell you get the two nuclei from each pole. So in the next developmental stages what happens? These three nuclei at the chalazal end they come here and they form the structure that one we get the three antipodal cells. Here at the chalazal end we can get here three antipodal cells. These cells are nutritive and they give nutrition to all these developing structures. So here at the center we are getting the two polar nuclei and then at the micropylar region we get the central cell it becomes well developed and it acts as the haploid egg cell. And neighboring cells of this egg cell, you get here synergy cells which are supporting to that egg cell. They have a filiform structure and these structures later on at the time of fertilization, they show the way to the pollen tube up to this egg. And then, so this total structure we call here as the egg apparatus. So, the mature embryo here it is 7 cell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this one is the 7 cell and the nuclei you are getting these are 3 then these are 3 and 2 8 nucleated structure. So in this mature embryo sac we get 7 cell 8 nucleated structure and this embryo sac development that is from the megaspore we get all the stages of development of this female gametophyte that one we call the monosporic that is from the single megaspore all this development takes place so we call it as the monosporic and totally this is the female gametophyte which, ha which is having antipodes which is having central cell and which is having egg and here the synergies. This seven-celled 
एट न्यूक्लियटेड स्ट्रक्चर इट इज द फीमेल गैमिटोफाइट विच इज कलरलेस विच इज एंडोस्पोरिक ओव्यूल्स आर एनक्लोज इन साइड द ओवरी लेटर ऑन दैट ओवरी गेट्स आफ्टर पॉलिनेशन एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन दिस ओवरी गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू फ्रूट एंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू द सीड स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दैट वी आर गेटिंग हियर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस फीमेल गैमिटोफाइट 